Hi, welcome to Alpha Numeric Tricks. In this video, we are going to see the problems under first order nonlinear partial differential equations. Under that, we are going to see how to get the solution of type 5 problems, that is, equations reduced, reduced to standard forms problem. In previous videos, we have seen that how to get the solution of remaining four type of problems in this type particularly we have to reduce the given problem into any of those four types and then we have to get the solution now we will see how to get the uh, solution for this type of problems solve x squared p squared plus y squared q squared is equal to z squared using this method you can easily reduce this problem into any of the previous four types and get the solution. So, we will see the easy method how to reduce the given problem into standard form. This is our problem x squared p squared plus y squared q squared is equal to z squared. Take that problem as equation number 1. I just refresh you the remaining four type of problems first type of problem is f of pq is equal to zero that is you are in our problem uh, p and q alone is present second type is all the terms yeah, is it x y p q is present but this that is of the form is it is equal to px plus q y plus f of p q clear its form okay and third type of problem is Along with P and Q, either X is present or Y is present or Z is present in your problem. And fourth type is X, Y, P, Q alone is present and you can come, um, that is uh, separate X terms together and Y terms together and get the solution. But this last type of problems, combination of all the variables are present X, Y, P, Q, Z, but not in the clear its form, but it is in the different form. Now we will see how to get the solution of this type of problems. You can reduce this problem to any one of these four types and then we can get the solution. So first you write this as of the form uh, equations reducible to standard form type of problems. Now the given problem you have to take the given problem and in this your right hand side z squared is present you have to take that z squared to the left hand side denominator okay because you have to convert the right hand side of this type of problem to either a constant or any number or constant in terms of a b like that okay depending upon your problem so here z squared is present so take that z squared to the denominator of the left hand side then that problem becomes x squared p squared by z squared plus y squared q squared by z squared is equal to 1. And you know that p is dou z by dou x and q is dou z by dou y. Just substitute those expressions here. So you have x squared dou, squared, dou z by dou x whole squared by z squared plus y squared dou z by dou y the whole squared by z squared is equal to 1. And all the terms are square is present. So you take the square terms to outside. That is x dou z by dou x by z plus uh, y dou z by dou y by z the whole square is equal to 1. Now you have to take that dou x terms and dou y terms to the corresponding denominators. Then your problem becomes x dou z by z dou x the whole square plus y dou z by z dou y the whole squared is equal to 1. After that, you have to take, combine the x terms together, y terms together and z terms together here like that. See, uh, you have to take that x to the, uh, sorry, x to the uh, denominator and z to the numerator. Similarly, y to the denominator and z to the numerator. Okay. So, we will consider here dou z by dou x, dou z by dou z, that is z is taken to numerator, 
whole thing divided by do x by x that x is taken to the denominator of this ox so you x by x without changing this value we rearrange this the whole square plus in the same way do z by z whole thing divided by do y by y the whole square is equal to 1 just without changing this value we are rearranging the terms that is z terms are taken together and y terms are taken together and z terms here x terms are taken together after that we have to use one substitution uh, capital do that is do into capital x is taken as do is x by x this do x by x is taken as do capital x and do y by y is taken as do capital y and do z by z is taken as do capital z okay so substitute these values here so we have to write our assumption let do x is do capital x is do x by do x and do capital y is do y by do y and do capital z is do z by z now you have to integrate this integrating integral do x dx is x so x is equal to integration of do x by x is log x similarly integration of do y is y is equal to integration of do y by y is log y and integration of do z is z is equal to integration of do z by z is log z after that these terms are substituted in the equation 2 this is our equation 2 so we have to substitute uh, do x by x as capital do, do x and do y do z is substituted here so do z by z becomes do capital z so do, do capital z by do x by x is do capital x so do capital z by do capital x the whole squared plus similarly here next term uh, do z by z is taken as do capital z by do y by y is taken as do capital y do, so do z by do y the whole square is equal to 1 and in our problem you already know that your do x by sorry do z by do x is taken as small p and do do z by do small y is taken as small q whereas we convert all the cap small letters to capital letters so we correspondingly we take that p and q also in capital letters that is do z by do x is taken as capital p and do capital z by do capital y is taken as capital q that's why you substitute here p square plus q square is equal to 1 you get it okay that equation is taken as number 3 after that we have to find out the complete integral that is the given problem is converted into the first type okay the, look at the problem terms here in equation 3 here p squared plus q squared is equal to 1 p and q alone is present in our problem so this is the first type so we have to find out the complete integral singular integral and general integral for this problem so complete how will you find out the complete integral first you have to write the form this is of the form f of pq is equal to 0 and you have to write the assumed solution for first type of problems what is that assumed solution here is it is equal to ax plus by plus c is our assumed solution for type 1 problems okay now number that equation as 4 after that you have to make use of the given problem that is reduced problem and the yeah, substitution p is equal to a q is equal to b we have to find out the complete integral so substitute p is equal to a q is equal to b in equation 3 it becomes a square plus b square is equal to 1 that is p is replaced by a so a square plus q is replaced by b b square is equal to 1 from that you can find out either the value of a or the value of b now we are going to find out the value of b here okay b squared is equal to take that a to other side it becomes 1 minus a squared from that you can get the value of b because b value only we need to substitute in 
4. So b is equal to square root of 1 minus a square. That is substituted in equation 4. Then it becomes z is equal to ax plus b is replaced by root of 1 minus a square into this y plus a constant. This is our complete solution we can say but your yeah, no, solution is not yet completed. The reason is here yeah, in our solution all the terms are all the variables are capital X, Y, Z. We have to uh, re changing the small x to capital X so corresponding changes must be done here also. Okay. Uh, why we say that it is a complete integral because here we have only two arbitrary constants a and c alone is present. That's why it is a complete integral. So, substitute the terms z small z small z is replaced by log sorry capital z is replaced by log small z is equal to a into capital X is replaced by log small x plus root of 1 minus a square into this y is replaced by log y plus a constant. This is our required complete integral. Okay. Next we have to find out the singular integral for this problem. Singular integral is you have to differentiate the given complete integral or obtained complete integral partially with respect to any of the constants available in complete integral. In our problem we have uh, in our solution we have two constants are there a and c either you have to differentiate this partially with respect to a or c. Now we are going to differentiate partially with respect to c because c is separately there then you can get the solution easily that and all you know already. Okay, so differentiating equation 5 partially with respect to c, we have 0 is equal to because there is no c terms in this right hand side. So, sorry, left hand side. So, do log z by do a is equal to 0. That is differentiation of this term becomes uh, differentiating this with respect to a becomes 0 is equal to here differentiation of a log x with respect to c is 0 because it is a constant. Differentiation of root of 1 minus a squared log y with respect to c becomes 0 again it is a constant and the differentiation of c with respect to c is 1. So we get finally 0 is equal to 1 which is not an uh, possible result. It is an impossible result that is why there is no singular solution for this problem. Next, we have to go for the general solution or general integral. How will you obtain the general integral? Again, you have to reduce one more constant in the complete integral to the substitution c is equal to phi of a. Either you can substitute c is equal to phi of a or a is equal to phi of c. Okay, both the ways you can do it. Here, we are going to substitute c is equal to phi of a. Then, uh, your equation 5 becomes log z is equal to a log x plus root of 1 minus a squared into log y plus c is replaced by phi of a. After that, you have to differentiate this equation into the available arbitrary constant. After substituting c is equal to phi of a, you get only one arbitrary constant is present in our solution. So, you have to differentiate this partially with respect to a. Again, here there is no a term. So, differentiation of uh, do log z by do a becomes 0 is equal to log x is constant. Differentiation of a with respect to a becomes 1. So, log x alone is present plus log y is constant right as it is. And here root of 1 minus a squared is differentiated partially with respect to a. Root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x. In the same way, you are writing 1 by 2 into root of 1 minus a squared into you have to differentiate this 1 minus a squared with respect to a. One, differentiation of 1 with respect to a, sorry, differentiation uh, with 0 minus uh, differentiation of a squared with respect to a becomes 2a. So, minus 2a you have this minus plus is converted into minus 2a divided by 2a into root of 1 minus a squared into log y plus differentiation of phi of a is phi dashed of a. Here 2 to get cancel and that no need to simplify these two terms further because phi of a is not known to us. So, simplifying further is not use. Okay. So, we conclude our result like this. Uh, eliminating A between 6 and 7, we can get the general integral. Okay. This is the uh, 
uh, way we have to reduce the given problem into any one of the standard types and then we have to get the uh, complete integral, singular integral and general integral. Thanks for watching. Videos like this, please subscribe our channel Alpha Numeric Tricks. Thank you.